Katrina Denzel, when you are putting money into your HELOC, do you make your deposits as a regular payment or a principal payment? My interest accrues daily, so how do I get around the interest? Katrina, is your HELOC a principal and interest payment? Answer me that first. If it's a principal and interest payment, the way you minimize the cost of the HELOC is by chunking strategically, not the whole amount, a portion based on cash flow, based on the debt that you're trying to kill. Once we figured out the numbers on the chunk side, because this is how you don't pay any interest on your debt tool, is based on what you're tackling. So if I have a car that I want to pay off, right? Run it through the amortization schedule. See how much, look at your statements and see how much interest you're currently paying on that monthly payment and for the life of the loan. You get that number. Then you look at your line of credit and we determine the chunk. If the chunk is 10,000, the interest rate is X. We know in a year, this is how much interest we'll pay. And then we do the math and we see how much interest we'll pay daily, right? Based on the chunk amount that goes to the debt, understand that when you made the chunk, you save X amount of dollars in interest. We need to know what that number is, right? On, on how much we're saving on that interest, on that debt that we want to pay off, okay? Then, based on that interest savings is a cushion for whatever interest you pay on the line of credit. So technically, yes, you are paying interest on your line of credit. There's no way to get around that cost. The way to get around it is by strategically chunking so that the interest, if I can say it right, the interest that you removed from that debt, let's say it was $3,000 of interest you saved on your first chunk towards a specific debt. So you've got $3,000 in interest savings. Now you have a debt on the HELOC. It starts to accrue daily interest. That's how it works. That daily interest is roughly a few dollars a day, not a lot. So if we can pay off the HELOC itself within six months or less, Katrina, within six months or less, right and you do the math and you say okay over six months i paid 350 dollars in interest on the heloc ask ask the question did i pay that interest or not the answer is no some think yes the answer is no how did i pay interest on 350 it says i paid interest on 350 but remember, I saved 3000 over here, along with the principal balance dropping, right? So, so if I paid 350 over here, I saved 3000 My net savings is what? $2,650? Boom. If we do that every time we chunk, then you are not paying interest on the HELOC. That is how you get around it, Katrina. That is an extended answer to your question. I hope that makes sense, right? So there's a lot of moving factors that we want to uh, consider there, okay? It all has to do with the chunk, the cash flow, the debt, the line of credit interest, the, everything, right? There's some that are less valuable than others, right? Like I always say, look, cash flow is the most important thing. When you're doing velocity banking we want to chase cash flow first interest savings right after that then you know chunk amount line of credit the flow the timeline all that comes into consideration when we're ironing out the numbers okay